this is Contentment Channel. Today I'm going to be planting in the cold frame. A few days ago we talked to a person who's been here in this area for many years. His grandmother and great-grandmother are both from the area and the saying here as far as planting goes is don't plant until after Mother's Day because there could be another pretty heavy frost and stuff like that that could kill off your freshly sprouted garden items. You know, back in Oklahoma where the duplex is, the saying is don't plant until after Easter because you get the Easter snap and all of this. So anyway, here, if you wait until after Mother's Day and the guy said my grandmother and my great grandmother swore by it, but that leaves us, you know, May, June, July, August, and then um, I'll have to check the date on it, but you get your first freeze here, maybe in September. I'll find out. But anyway, I'm going to be planting in the garden. I finished planting. I planted carrots and lettuces and spinach in there. Might have overcrowded it, but um, Ichip and I decided that we're just going to let all of it go, go big or go home on this project. Um, when he gets the tiller fixed up, we're going to till up a big part of the yard over there and we're going to plant every kind of possible thing that we could plant. We're going to till in some of the uh, humanure, not the humanure, we're going to till in some of the humus, hummus and manure mixture into the soil and we're going to fence it off because we do have some rabbits and then we're going to plant every kind of thing that we can think of to plant that we have seeds just to see how it grows and see if anything produces and and whatever and, you know we have a very very short growing season here just a few months and then it's done i mean stuff that we have in the cold frame we could probably maybe take into october but other than that anything outside will be kaput unless we come up with a nice little way to maybe keep it covered or something later on. But I made a big mess, as you can see, watering, because I couldn't find my little sprayer. And so I just used the little um, water thing to put some water in there. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. everyone it's Robert and I am going to make a son of an apple pie not really sure how this is gonna work I've watched a few videos on YouTube about it so I'm gonna try it what I have here is the sun oven pan I've got already made <clears throat> pie crusts I cheated because I didn't want to have to make them so I'm gonna put one in the bottom put my filling in and then put one on the top <clears throat> um, it's actually probably more like a cobbler than anything else, but we're going to see. I'm going to use some apple pie filling that I made last year, and I'm going to cut up the three apples that we have that haven't been eaten yet and put in there so we can see how it goes. Okay, here is my pie. Got the pie shell in the bottom. I put my pie filling in it. Put two fresh uh, apples in there because we haven't been eating them and then I put some butter in there <clears throat> my pie filling is a little dry so I'm probably going to add a, a bit of water then I'm gonna put the top on okay here is my <clears throat> finished product put the pie crust on top slit it put some butter on it and some sugar and now I'm gonna put it in the Sun oven for probably about an hour okay so I've made a couple of videos using the sun oven and just to remind you, what you do is you line the sun up with that uh, spot in the middle of this thing and <clears throat> it is, that's how you regulate it. You can turn it to where you don't have to mess with it all the time 
but I think I'm going to come out here and just keep resetting it as the day go goes on. Um, something I would like to mention is this piece right here came off the last time I tried to use this and it's just got some kind of a silicone silicone uh, glue and basically just when I opened it up last time I used it it was it just fell off like that so I'm not too thrilled with that <clears throat> maybe it was just kind of a I don't know what those birds. Uh, maybe it was just kind of a thing on our part. I don't know, being so dusty out here. But anyway, so right now, uh, after opening it up, this thing is down to 300. <clears throat> it will uh, very quickly come back to temperature. It'll be up to about 350, hopefully, in just a little bit. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm going out. I'm going out to check my pie. You want to come with me and watch it because look it's getting cloudy it's going to rain soon but not it always looks like it's gonna rain like this but it really never ever ever does Ooh. oopsies Ta-da! Okay, so I touched the top of the pie crust. It doesn't feel super crispy, but it is brown. I'm going to go ahead and get it out. Um, I don't know how crispy it'll get because, you know, this thing always gets a lot of... Um, condensation in it and everything when you're cooking but it looks good it smells kind of good too 